If you are on a low carb or keto diet and love blackberries, then this recipe is for you. Stay tuned. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we are dedicated to bringing you a new healthy recipe every single week. Today, we're going to be making low carb blackberry scones. Let's begin by first sifting our almond flour. Almond flour can tend to clump up pretty easily, so what I'm going to do is take a fine mesh strainer and pour one cup of our almond flour directly into it, and then all you have to do is just tap the sides, and it sifts it really nicely. Not only is it going to get rid of the lumps, but it's also going to have our scones be a little bit more fluffy, because almond flour can be really dense to cook with. And when you get down to the last bits, you can always just take a spoon or your hand and help kind of push it through. The other gluten-free flour I'm going to use today in our recipe is coconut flour. I'm going to be adding in one quarter of a cup and I'm going to sift it as well. So again, I'm just going to tap it with the palm of my hand. And just remember that coconut flour is a very thirsty flour. And when you're cooking with it, you usually have to add in a lot more liquids. It is not a one-to-one -one substitute for other flours. Now we're ready to add in our sweetener. I'm going to be using three tablespoons of Swerve. You are certainly welcome to use your preferred low glycemic granulated sweetener here. Last, I'm going to be adding in one half of a teaspoon of baking powder and one quarter of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Whisk together all of your dry ingredients really well and then set it aside. In a smaller mixing bowl, we're going to add in one quarter of a cup of your preferred nut milk. I always like to use a combination of coconut and almond milk, but it's completely up to you. Next, we have two tablespoons of melted butter or ghee, which is a clarified butter or coconut oil. All of these oils are going to work really great in our recipe. The only difference is taste. So butter and ghee definitely have a bit of a stronger flavor than coconut oil. You usually can't ever taste coconut oil when you're baking with it unless you add a lot of it. One egg, or you could substitute this with a chia egg or flax egg. The zest of one organic lemon, which is about one teaspoon worth. And when you're zesting your lemon, be sure to just include the yellow part and not the white part of the peel, as that can tend to be really bitter. Last, we have one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Whisk together all of your wet ingredients, and then add your wet ingredients to your dry ingredients and mix together. You are looking for a dough-like consistency, so if it's too crumbly, simply add in a little bit more milk, and if it's not thick enough, then add in a little bit more almond flour. Now we are ready to fold in one half of a cup or more of halved fresh blackberries. Some of my blackberries were really big, so some are quartered and the rest are halved. Dump out your dough onto a parchment lined baking sheet and then press out your dough to form a circle that's about one inch in thickness. So this is not an exact science, just have fun with it. And then either using a knife or a pizza cutter, cut your dough into eight equal sized wedges. Carefully separate your dough wedges to allow for evenly baked scones. I then took the edge of my knife and helped smooth out some of the sides and collect any of the dough that may have separated. Bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 18 to 20 minutes or until your scones are cooked through and they start to turn lightly brown around the edges. Place on a cooling rack to cool just a little bit before removing, otherwise they can fall apart pretty easily. I dusted my scones with some powdered swerve and cinnamon. Now for my favorite part, it is time to give them a taste. Look how pretty they are. 
I love the blackberries. Can you see that? Okay, let's see. That, my friends, is the perfect amount of sweetener. I love the fresh tartness of those blackberries. Mmm, I don't know what else to tell you. There's nothing I would change. Just know that almond flour and coconut flour are pretty heavy flours. So this little wedge may look like a little bit, but I promise you it will fill you up and leave you feeling satisfied for quite a while. So I hope you give these ones a try. They are delicious. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, I hope you're happy and healthy and enjoying your summer. And I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Take care. Bye-bye.